Hi guys, I'm Josh from Aspect Detailing and today we have an incredible project with a BMW M4 which I'm really excited to show you guys. So as you can see guys, the car's already been cleaned and I've already started prepping the car by stripping as well because what we're doing with this car is a full paint renovation. It's being fully sanded from the top layer of the lacquer just to rejuvenate it and bring it back to life. Also what we're doing, we're doing little bits like replacing the spoiler. That hasn't come off just yet, but you will see that. And we're also replacing the calipers, the brake lines, um, the discs, just for the customer's aesthetic preferences. He wants yellow, he's bought that. That's what we're gonna fit for him. Also, what we're doing with this car as well, the wheels that you can see are gone. So they've gone to a very good friend of ours at TWS, Ollie, the wheel specialist in Fairham, and they're going for a complete re-diamond cut, repaint and refinish also. So I've just brought you around to this side of the car, just to show, give you an example of the paint. So what basically happened with this, this gentleman was he had a very unfortunate incident where a trampoline landed on the car and, and battered it. Um, so it's gone for a full respray. Now the problem is, is the body shop didn't polish it at all. So as you can tell, the paint is very flat for, for a car of this nature when there's supposed to be a metallic finish. Also on the side here, you can see ever so slightly there's still dents along this side. So that's something we need to take care of as well. So today's job is going to be me underneath the car, stripping off the old calipers and replacing them with these lovely refurb calipers that the customer has purchased. And this is what we're gonna be doing today. Hey everybody, I'm Blake from Aspect. Uh, while Josh is busy doing the brakes, I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about what we're doing on the paint. So uh, if you have a look over here, so, th so this is a test panel. Um, what we're essentially doing, this car has been uh, repainted by a BMW body shop. And unfortunately, they have not finished it very well. So customers brought it to us and said, can you make this look better? Um, Yes, we can. So what we've had to do is sand it. So we've sanded it. This whole panel has been sanded with 2000 grit sandpaper, which sounds scary, but it's not if you know what you're doing. Um, get rid of all the high points. Essentially what we're trying to do is take out the texture. So if you can see, some people call it orange peel, but it's actually quite a bad bumpy texture. If we level that off with the 2000 and we come back with the 3000 and what that does is takes out any of the scratches caused by the 2000, the previous step, and then we do a rotary polish on top just to take out all of the final sanding marks. And what we're left with is a much better finish. So as I said, this is a test patch to see what processes work best, what products are gonna work best. Um, and we're gonna leave that like it is now because we don't wanna get in Josh's way as he's doing the brakes. But we now know clearly what we need to do to make this look perfect. So guys, as you can see, the calipers are all done. Um, we've replaced all the brake lines and replaced them with the new refurbed um, yellow powder coated calipers. And I think the finish is amazing. Um, didn't run into too many problems with the calipers. A couple of standard things that you get with brakes and obviously a car that's been used on the road. One of the um, lines on the back rear was corroded. So unfortunately that has um, broken when it has come to taking it apart. So we just ordered that to make sure that everything in the car is completely up to standard with a car of this sort of calib caliber, sorry. Um, next thing to do is to go around and re-talk everything because everything needs to be talked. We're not cowboys here. And then with that, it'll be the wheels, which you will see in the next one. Here at the Wheel Specialist, we've come down here because our good friend Ollie is going to completely refurb the wheels for us. So let's head on in and see what he's done. So guys, what Ollie has done on the wheels is completely strip the wheels, re-powder coat and re-diamond cut. So in my opinion, the guys at the Wheel Specialist do a better job than the OEM in the way that comes out the showroom. Don't forget to come to us for your wheel refurbishment because we partner with the wheel specialist and they always do an outstanding service. Right, so now the wheels are done, let's have a look at what Kieran's up to on the bonnet. So uh, we already explained about how we do the testing for the sanding. Now we've got a strategy that works, we're going to put that to use on the car. 
So we've actually found out we needed to go to a more abrasive sanding pad, which is a 1500, just because of the texture that was left from the body shop. So we use a 1500 on here to smooth it out. Still needs a little bit more so that we get, what we're looking for essentially is for it to be completely flat. So it actually looks mullered at the moment, looks rubbish. And that's the point. So what we want to do is use a 1500 to flatten it completely, gets rid of the orange peel texture. Then we'll go for a 2000 and then we'll go for a 3000 and that will leave us with a lovely flat finish and then we'll do our polishing paint correction stage to bring the paint back to how it should be and it's going to look absolutely amazing. Right so we've just completed the 1500 sanding and now we've done a 2000 as well and as you can see from when we started it's now looking a lot more consistent in the way that it's finished so it's flat now it looks a bit like satin paint so we could do that if you wanted no i'm joking um, so the next stage is the final sanding which is 3000 um, which will make it just it, it still won't be shiny but it will look really really smooth and then the next step after that will be the rotary polisher with quite an aggressive compound to get rid of all the sanding marks and make it look really good <laughs> Okay, so that's the first polish done. Uh, and as you can see, if we look at the reflection of the Expel logo, it's actually blurry on the side we haven't done and it's crystal clear on the side we have done, which is an amazing sign. Um, it needs more refinement, so we're gonna carry on now, get the rest of the car done and can't wait for you to see the finished result. Right, so major progress has been made. We've now polished the paint. So as I said in the last clip, because we sanded it, we had to get all those sanding marks out with a very high compound, um, which removes the sanding marks, but then you're left with a slightly hazy paint. So then we have to refine it back with the finishing polish. Uh, it's actually a three stage process just to finish the paint. And this is the result. Um, we're very, very happy. We've been round and checked about five different times just to make sure everything is good. Um, and yeah, we're ready to sort of add the finishing touches now and um, we're not far away from giving it back to the customer. Right guys, so that's the M4 completely finished now. The paint's been completely refinished. We've done the calipers, wheels have been refurbed. It's been sanded to perfection and repolished also. So for any sort of um, service in regards to ceramic coating, PPF, polishing, wheels refabrica uh, refabrication, anything like that, then come to us. If you keep an eye on the YouTube channel, the next project that's going to be on YouTube is a very big one. It is with our very own E92 M3, which is Blake's car. And that's going to go for a huge transformation, which we're very excited about because that means a new service is coming. But for the meantime, anything related in what I just stated, please head to aspect-detailing.co.uk for everything that you need and we will look after you. All right guys, so if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, turn on the bell notification. There's more content to come and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.